We are live. Let me refresh this bad boy. Uh, YouTube, nothing yet. We're going to wait around a little bit. Our... Oh, there we go. <laughs> we heard a little echo. Okay, we're good. I'm good. B is good. We're good. And, we're good. Yeah, Richard and the man misinformation. Make sure you can hear me. Make sure you can see me before we get started. We had a lot of things to talk about today. Uh, a little updates here and there, talking about sales, things people have been finding. So let me go to the chat. Uh, let's see, Crispy and Sobra and Dom and MC Incorporated, Jimmy, Mamo Dog, Manny Fresh, Sergio and Christy, Rock the Kick, Swoopman. And let's see, Rico Smooth, Josh Brown, William Perry, Richard, Resell Freak, Kimzo. Puma Hustler. How's that discount card, Puma? Are you putting it to work? D-Bay. Uh, Fate 5. Price Assassins. Dust One. Patrick. My boy Patrick. Uh, Mile High Hustle. Uh, Dapper Fanatic. Big Money Mo. Uh, Flips Anonymous. Spicy Kicks. Stealthy Finds. Activate Hustle Mode. A Will. Kobe Goat. Uh, Velo uh, 630, RNJ Funky Finds, Gucci Skunk, John and Jay, and Ticket, and Stevie D, hey, and Petty Deals, and Browntown Finds, Josh Leva, Edwin, Faith Lopez, like on Three Legs, Stinger Finds 12, and more people coming in. All right, let's start off with investing in GameStop and AMC. <laughs> <laughs> Really? What are your th What are your thoughts, B? Um. Well, it's wild. It's wild. Um. I mean, basically, the gist of it, right? Like, the average person won. A Reddit, <laughs> Reddit won. A Reddit so. won. B B's face said it all. <laughs> to the moon, AMC. To the moon, DFW. Yeah. Yeah, now they're dumping GameStop, and then now they're gonna pump up AMC. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> man. Um, but it's it's cool. It's uh one 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 guy said that, um, you know, like everybody had stimulus check and everything like that, and and if you were just kind of like I guess risky, right? And if you just dump all of that there, and you know. It made a lot of people millionaires. That's for sure. I also so, had other people lose billions. So yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah. It was literally billions transferred, right? Like, because at the end of the day, nobody really the money really. I mean, the money didn't go anywhere. It just got transferred to, you know, <laughs> Reddit users or the nerds, what yeah. they say. Um, but oh, yeah. I gotta um, see about Jake to see how he's doing because he always he always tries to get into things when it's like way way late <laughs> yeah. and then he, then he blames us somehow yeah so we, got, we gotta talk to jake and see how he's doing we'll right. bring him on for a live right right <laughs> and other news oh we now now have our super bowl teams lined up all right in the chat who are we picking all did, you did, need did did i call this i think i called this i said I, if i remember it correctly if mahomes was good to go they they'd win and then, of course, my boy, TB12. <laughs> you know what? I think you said Bills. I, I did say Bills, okay. but I okay. said if if Mah that's because Mahomes was like you know on protocol and turf though and stuff like that. Um, uh, but but <laughs> but 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 the crazy part is they made a steel though uh insert right yeah. for his turf though, and he was running funny too. Yeah, it was, it was running like really funny. Heel, right? Yeah. Let's see. Spicy Kicks, Patrick Mahomes, boy. Uh, refs for the W. Uh, RV, Chiefs got this. KC winning it all. Uh, Tom Pabe. To be honest, though, the ref, the refs have been good. There hasn't been no uh, questionable calls. <laughs> I th man, that Packers game, there was like no calls until the very end when it mattered the most. I was right. like, this is trash. Anyway. <laughs> All right, let's go to some sneaker updates. 
I saw this one yesterday and I was pretty disappointed. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, like, I was like, what am I looking at here? <laughs> this looks like some like uh, customs, you know, like, uh, you know, when you go to those sneaker custom class, this is what you come up with. <laughs> this is what you come up with. Yeah, like your first shoe, you know, your first custom shoe, this is what it looked like. <laughs> And yeah, similar color blocking to the lucky green that we just got last year, and now we want this stadium green. Yeah, spring twenty twenty one. Yeah, Come little on, like man. it looks so perfect from the toe box, and then it just you know goes to worst. Yeah, it just goes so to like yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, dookie. Just goes well, like you dookie. Have to, yeah, if you rock this with your boot cut jeans, I think it would look fire. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> uh, let me see gonorrhea green man stevie d uh jordan brand running out of ideas for the ones they need better designers extra grands we also saw the first look on cdg foam posit one man so unique <laughs> <laughs> how did you feel about the foamies uh i mean it reminds me of uh kg it kind of does it's have that KG process, vibe, right? Like yeah. this, like round thing here and the round thing up front. Um, but you know, it's Comme des Garcons. Uh, it's always gonna be wild, right? Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, they're decent. At least they, it's not like a wacky colorway, right? They didn't make it like nerve. Yeah, they went super simple, right? Yeah, this is like that supreme take on Air Force One. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I do think, I mean, I wouldn't, I actually wouldn't rock any of these, but I, I think the black one actually looks a lot cleaner than the white one. The black looks so clean. The white just looks like a Play-Doh, you know what I'm saying? Like a, <laughs> yeah. a, thumb, a thumbprint. It looks like, a, it reminds me of Jordan 23, the bottom of Jordan 23s. Yeah, that thumbprint in there, but at least the black one doesn't look as loud. Maybe yeah, the white but one it's just... going to be probably like 495. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Trash, but not terrible. Uh, looks like one of those optical illusion images. Hurt my eyes, and I kind of don't mind those as intramorph. So there we go. Resell will be fire from Patrick. Dude, the black's perfect, especially uh, for a winter shoe. You know, better than Timberlands. <laughs> kind of like a boot look. Yeah. All right, next one into the news. And I want to talk about our boy Mile High Hustle. I know he's here in the chat. We're going to talk to him a little bit later as well. Um, so he had this uh, post. I know a lot of people did see it. We we're like, you know what? Let's talk about it a little bit. And he did get some returns on eBay's authentication program. I don't like that. Now, I do agree. Reading his post, um, I don't think eBay should accept returns for any of this stuff. I mean, go and StockX. They don't have returns. I think they should leave it that way. Right. Um, or at least the basis of it being possibly fake. Yeah, I mean, right? come on. That was the cost of this return. I yeah. mean, I see it if it got damaged through transit or there was a stain that, you know, one of them overlooked, right? Like, like for example, like Glenn, on Glenn's uh, goat stuff, he sent them like torn box and everything <laughs> and then it passes through goat, right? And the... the Really, the buyer has the right to complain if and if they return it, it's on goats. It's goats' fault because they let it through. Yeah. Right. So I mean, for eBay, you know, being it hiring a third party, I don't think there should be a return on a on the basis of it might. Of the shoe being fake because what's the pur purpose of authentication at this <laughs> yeah what's the purpose of doing this whole thing that they come up that they came out with so i'm gonna read this paragraph here um they say this doesn't happen but i just received my second return back through authentication uh the first was returned because the buyer bought them as a gift and they were the wrong size okay that happens in general right with us selling right. on ebay wrong size right uh, came like back with the tag Okay, with that eBay tag thing that they put on there, which they said originally that if they if it comes back, they're gonna check the shoe to make sure that it is the same shoe and it's not fake. They're gonna double check everything. Right. Um, so it says the second pair came back as not not as described, 
and the buyer noted that they thought they were fake, came back without a tag. Like, how does that happen? Right. So, so one of the things happened, the buyer removed the tag, right? Or eBay authentication removed the tag before sending it back to, uh, to mile high. Yeah. Right. Two, but so one of those two happened. Um, but knowing the tag that they use, I think it's either the buyer has the tool to remove it because we've seen the tool that they use, or if they didn't, it might be just eBay authentication removing it. Yeah, we don't know. Right, right, correct. Um, same thing like Mile High also says, but they didn't remove the tag on the first one that I got. Correct. That's because, why it doesn't make sense. Why would they move it well, the second time? Well, because the first one was authentic. It was a return as fake or <laughs> might be fake, right? That's the only thing. Like the, the first cost is like, I don't agree that you should, right? Like I said, it shouldn't come back or it shouldn't re get returned because it's possible fake, right? But since they allow that, I think that could be a basis of them pulling that tag off. But be. It, it shouldn't be because now eBay authentication program is listening to the buyer. Yeah. Now the buyer authenticated the item for <laughs> for the seller in the authentication program. So, <laughs> that doesn't make sense at all. Right, right. It's like a buyer thinks this shoe is fake, but yet they went through their authentication process. And so... Really they're believing the buyer saying that it's fake over themselves. <laughs> yeah. Over their own people that are checking it. That's wild. Yeah. Now, B brought up a good point. If you really want to screw things up, how long is it going to take before we start selling the eBay tags on eBay? Right. Because right now, we can buy the StockX tag with a little paper and the sticker on eBay. On yeah. eBay. <laughs> yeah. $25 and for five tags, certificates, and stickers. Yeah, and, and it's cheaper on AliExpress. <laughs> oh, way cheaper on AliExpress. They even had a little ad right here. Right. How um, many did, you, did you see like a big, like, it was like a 2000 lot or something? Yeah, like... well, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the sticker <laughs> everything. Uh, they sell goat stuff too. Um, but here's the thing. The cool thing about what the sneaker con tag, uh, Glenn, Glenn showed it in his video that if you scan the QR code, it will link to that shoe and that size. Yeah. So let's say this guy is a scammer and wants to collect the tags, right? Mm -hmm. The only way he could prove it, uh, it could pass, he could pass a fake as a real base on the tag is if he actually buys the exact same shoe and size. Yeah. And size, yeah. Yes. Um, and try to but, repeat that process. but Yeah, and repeat the process over and over again. But uh, when we were talking, it, it does take so much time to do that just to collect the tags might as well just buy stock x tag or the gold <laughs> paper right so so yes it could be here and there you know i mean i think this is just an isolated case um i haven't had any we hope so. uh you know uh unlucky that uh mile high got two right two returns yeah. ready for this um so so we'll see how how this rolls out um i yeah. I, I think you know i mean it's crazy because i've sold a lot of retros through there too so <laughs> and the non-retros now since they made it a hundred dollars right yeah it's a hundred bucks i don't even know what ebay's plan is to like make money out of this or fees yeah. or what's gonna happen but yeah i yeah. guess we'll see what they decide to do yeah so I'll keep you guys posted. I also sold a couple of retros. If I get a return, I'll definitely put it on the news. We can talk about it again. So let's see what happens. Let's go to the next one. Just how are your sales? And I was talking to B before this. And Goat woke up. It woke up last week. It's still been pretty good. Sales yeah. every day. I think Goat's been doing better than eBay lately for me. Um, B. You know uh, why? You know why? I mean, I, my sales have been better than I expected it to be. Um, and you know, this GameStop investors, man, they're <laughs> cashing in one or two stocks here and there and just shopping goat, you know? <laughs> I, 
you know, it makes sense. You know, they're they're the ones that are into online buying, buying and selling. So, you know, sell one or two stocks to buy a pay, cool pair of sneakers. You know, I could I could do that. So, you know, maybe AMC when it shots up, you know, our sales. Because at the end of the day, there's just more money out there for the consumers, right? So, so um, I I think I, I I that's my uh that's my theory. Uh -oh. And uh, if, if everything keeps going as, as how it it has been, I think 2021 will be better than 2020. All right, we shall see. Thread kick sales are steady eBay sales on fire, Richard. eBay and GOAT, StockX sucks. Uh, sales are strong, mile high. eBay is down, but Amazon is way up. Faith Lopez, GOAT is good. eBay is great. StockX is trash. Um, you know why I like StockX? Because they don't really, you know, they don't really deny a lot of my stuff that I've been sending. <laughs> GOAT, I've had this last week more stuff. I'm like, dude, stop. They're, they're fine. They're new. What are we doing here? So yeah, um, a Q4, I pretty much turned off my my goat. I mean my stock X, and then uh, two weeks ago, we listed items. So um, I deleted, we deleted everything. So we finally had like 320 items on uh, stock X, mm. and surprisingly, it's been doing really good. So um, I think that might be something. Uh, recalibrate your listings and make sure everything's listed there, and and I think you'll see some results. All right, Josh Leva just got uh, my top rated seller rating on eBay this week. So, congrats to Josh. All right, let's go to weekend releases. Uh, why not zero? I don't know. <laughs> they keep making more of these. Face I wonder what their sales look like. Yeah, face has them. Any thoughts in the chat? trash <laughs> well I, mean, I, I think i think this is going to be like that nerf was that that nerf, uh the westbrook nerf i think it was a super soaker wasn't it oh the, yeah the super soaker right like that yeah. went crazy high and we we're like dogging it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so i'm not gonna say anything i might try okay there we go yeah. oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> it already dropped this morning yeah that was this morning 150 Oh crap! 10 a.m. Yeah, I didn't even check to see what's going on with this thing. Uh, Mrs. Sports LA, what's up? Let's go to the next one. So J Cole with another uh, Puma, the Dreamer Two. Man, and that yeah, was quick. He's that, really it was quick. One every quarter or something. <laughs> one every quarter. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to catch up with Jordan Thirty Five, right? Yeah, I guess so. Second signature sneaker with Puma, and so. Yeah, this is a dub January 28th colorway, not to Cole's birthday. Question marks. Um, <laughs> no comments on these. Uh, let's see. You're missing the Laker game. I know. Yeah, that's uh, like 76 or track. Yeah. <laughs> hey, MB, trying to go for MVP? Oh, hey, Jake. I got a bunch of his jersey. I'm cool with that. Someone need to start buying him. Let's see. Cole needs to keep it to rap. Please just cop just because J. Cole hits different. <laughs> Don't like the high top. <laughs> Mr. Sports LA says halftime. That's why he's here. All right. Next one. Concepts Converse Southern Flame Collection. Uh, <laughs> A little mix from the B. This looks some this looks like some Doritos or something. Like a little guac? Yeah, Dorito, uh flaming hot Cheetos. Hot looking. Cheeto and Guac. Yeah, and what's that? The Takis? What's that? Is that how you say it? Oh, I love Takis, yeah. Uh, see, I told you. Southern Flame. Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little spicy in there. Let's see. We got actually it's supposed to be ripe orange and red peach. <laughs> there, there's no peach there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they'll be at Ross in six months as Mile High. Yeah, Pag said, where do you find these releases? I don't know if he can find them. I mean, he, I'm sure he gets a heads up from corporate or something. Corporate. <laughs> from Ross Corporate? Yeah. Have you tried the blue Takis? I haven't. It's a good question. Oh. I've what seen them like the store, uh, Some spicy ranch or something? Oh, bro, I got the snacks. Talk about snacks, bro. Limited. Okay, let's see. Doritos 3D Crunch Spicy Ranch. Bro, 
food. That's a little bag. That's not going to last very yeah, long. Yeah, it's, it's little. I eat two at a time. Oh, okay. Uh, check this one out, too. Oh, chili cheese chili nacho. Cheese. Yeah, bro. So they're spicy, but yeah, bro. They're like, I'm telling you, they're 3D, bro. <laughs> 3D. <laughs> 3D. 3D, stealthy finds. Oh, 3D. All right, what's the taste test like? How many how many have you eaten? How many bags? Well, how many bags came in this pack? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so I had a box, right? And then this is less left. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I thought Yo, it was gonna be like right, a little fun right pack or something. Corporate, baby, you know? <laughs> limited edition 3D. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 look at that. Another the, level. <laughs> the thick and crunch to another level. <laughs> yeah, dude got a whole case. All right, let's go to the next find. Our next release. Uh, let's see. ZX8000 Frozen Lemonade. I think the picture looks cooler than the actual shoe. Exactly. Uh, they did all this work for the photo. And yeah, this this will this probably be at Ross soon. Comes out Friday, January 29th, 120. Those are whack. Um <laughs> be bulk buying snacks instead of shoes. <laughs> Hot dog on a stick shoe. <laughs> oh man. Uh did you backdoor the Frito Lay vendor? <laughs> Dude, that'll be cool if I get a vending machine. <laughs> Uh, next one, Stussy Nike Air Force One tie dye. Though we, I like the little mix. I think some of them are pretty dope. Price to be oh. determined, though. I don't like that. Yo, I thought somebody custom this. <laughs> we'll get five different plant dye treatments uh, to represent New York, L.A., Tokyo, London, and Paris. So I think the green one's kind of dope. No, the blue one's kind of. I don't really like. I don't know what color this is. That one's kind of whack, but yeah, it's like puke. So yeah. it's Southern Flame. <laughs> Fire it looks vintage. Uh, let's see, blue, uh, black and blue only. I like it. Blue is fire. Mister Mormo, R and J fire. I want the blue green, one. Though. That's like a ripe avocado right there. Yeah, I kind of like the green one though. Uh, gray or cool? Gray right there in the middle. So let's see what happens in here Friday. Next one, we already talked about this shoe, and I thought it already came out, and then now it's coming out. I and mean, what's going on here? Oh, this Ray Guns. Yeah, they just want to release it multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how many Kyries do we need? <laughs> I mean, like, uh, I like I said, the, I think the shoe silhouette looks decent. Yeah, and better than the last one. Um, but they got to come up with a better color rate. I think just more solid color. Yeah, uh, maybe the Kyrie 17 might be you know better. You know what? I'm actually a fan of of Kyrie's. I mean, the last one, there's so many different colorways, but they went down so low for clearance at the outlets that I was like, how can I say no? I mean, somewhere we're down to like 30 bucks. You wore them? How 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 is it good? Well, I did have to go like a half size up because they do run a little like snug, tight, tight. Yeah, um, so. Yeah. I think right now, oh, see, right now I'm wearing the black ones. Like, I do like them. I think they're... They're comfy? Yeah, if you go half a size. I, think they're, I mean, they're pretty comfortable. All right. Uh, but especially this in a store than, shoe. This one's better than that one. Yeah, I did see oh. this one in store. Well, Definitely a lot, like a lighter, too. Shoe looks like a shark. <laughs> Mr. Sports LA. Yeah, it does. Uh, LeBron 18 Dunkman. Oh, this actually yeah. looks pretty clean. This is the best color rate they've released so far. Yeah, exactly. When it hits the outlets, we'll be ready. Yeah, the dunk man. <laughs> like, I wish it had. I wonder if it still has the logo in the bottom or something, or somewhere in the back. Yeah, probably. Yeah, maybe in the bottom, or maybe in the other side. I don't know. Yeah, but that's what's talking to B is about these. Uh, these LeBron 18s. <laughs> I showed B this picture, and let me see. And I was like, look, like. They're already at the outlets, and so yeah, my outlet that, has the LeBron that's 18. Like, that's like the ugliest colorway, though. And B was like, we have three different colorways at the outlet. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah, my outlet has three already. So, <laughs> like, wait. Damn, I guess it's 18. Just didn't because if you know. think about it, 
if you think about it, they got to have some LeBrons there, you know, and, you know, KD hasn't really took off. Um, uh, but I think they always got to have LeBrons or Kyrie's there. But yeah. Well, there's still a retail at 200. This yeah. is also 200. Uh, but this one I'll definitely get if it goes down. Yeah, I'm not paying 200, but I'll pay 79. Yeah, 60 bucks, max. I'll pay 79 minus 30. Yeah, 79 minus 30. That's what we want. All right, Jordan 9 University Gold. Trash. <laughs> 190. That's weak. Uh, Saturday, January 30th. And how do we feel about University Gold? So identical to 2010 Citrus Colorway. Let's oh, why didn't they call this Citrus? I have no clue. Jordan trying to mix things would, up. Citrus 9 would have been better. You know, at least <laughs> there's like some history. But yeah. University Gold, now you're like, all right, another Pittsburgh shoe. Exactly. More Steelers fans. Yep. Blah, Dookie, straight trash, pass. Steeler Nation cop, you see? Exactly. Uh, those won't sell, pass. This and the uh, and, uh, Crosby NHL jersey. <laughs> yeah, you can match it. <laughs> As a Steeler fan, we don't want that. Sneaker fine 412. <laughs> Let's see. Too dark to be citrus. Nines are trash. And uh, Patrick says, Marshalls. Dapper Fanatic says, what's wrong with Pittsburgh shoes? <laughs> Donate them to the Goodwill, Kobe. Wow. Man, we're pushing it. These will be at the outlets, no? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, we're almost there. Uh, 30 minutes in. Hit that like button. Just a little thumbs up. Baker Brand doesn't have to tell you every single week. All you got to do is hit that thumbs up. We'll be ready to roll to get into the power rankings. Uh, last week, Didi's TJ Maxx at four. Marshall's at three. Ross still at three. They just cannot bring in new shoes. Burlington at five stars. And Big Money Mo. At uh, five flames, he's better. He's doing better than Burlington. Uh, let's see, Burlington and Jordan Central, thumbs up. And let's see what else. Burlington started having self checkout machines in New Jersey. What? However, customers have to remove all sensors by themselves. <laughs> hey, I do that. Jimmy says, any uh, anybody here seen this happening at their Burlingtons? Wow. That's that's new. I mean, I mean, I'm sure I'm sure I could check out faster than those people out there. Hell yeah! And I've seen people with like full carts just buying random stuff. Definitely can cut in. Uh, can we get the employee discount then? Oh, that's gonna be hilarious, AK Rowdy. Uh, Puma Hustler says thirty five percent off last week. <laughs> Puma, are do you like the self checkouts? That's that's a real question here. What do you know from working at Burlington about <laughs> self checkouts, and is that coming up soon? Wait, Puma knows something. <laughs> he, he's a Burlington employee, you know. I guess. Uh, let's see, New Jersey always the first on the latest. Uh, Big Money Mo laughing. What could possibly go wrong, Coach Steve? Let's see, and haven't seen it from Puma. All right, let's get started. Marshalls did get downgraded. TJ Maxx actually doing better than Marshalls. Uh, we got Dapper Fanatic. Let's see. You got some of the Crocs on Clarence, I believe. AK Rowdy with the Cardinals. Salute to service down on Clarence. And Sneak Finds with the Ralph Lauren jackets. I believe they were 150 And I think he sold two of them already for 280 or something. 300 I don't remember. Uh, but great money on these. Pretty cool looking jackets, and they were yeah one, yeah one forty nine. So congrats on that. TJ Maxx, G Man, look at that. Look at this thing that he found. Thirty boxer briefs, one month supply. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, forget washing. Just. 30 pack. And you know what? After you're done, just throw them away. Throw and just away. buy a new 30 pack. And you're set for the month. But like looks like there's only like half there left though. Yeah, I don't know. I can't explain that. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I think somebody, you know, got ten of them ready. <laughs> let's see, 30 days of underwear, TJ Maxx, go out and get it. So let's see, two months easy. That's nasty. 
return irregular hell nah fine of the year <laughs> uh, what about in the months with 31 days oh that is a problem uh, i guess nothing i mean free ball it whatever you want to do and then you'll go back at it for the next month buy all 12 and you're set one and done's b grade irregular yeah that would suck you know what? One time I did buy irregular socks at a uh, Marshalls. I thought you said under- <laughs> I thought you were going to say underwear. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I did buy the Nike irregular socks at Marshalls. How was it? Dude, they're really uncomfortable. Like one what? sock is like, I don't know, like pinching up to your like toes. It just does not feel right. Oh. And I didn't think it was going to be a big issue. Right. Like, how that's what you I get for being a cheap right? guy. How could you that? Yeah, you I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. All right. Copper Drop, Desert Finds, Soul Searching, and Furious Flipper. Uh, Furious with the 720 and a pretty cool uh, pink blast color, 140. A little mix here, Soul Searchings. I forgot the shoe that, uh, that he picked up here, what it was called, but they were selling pretty good. Um, more of the golf down on Clarence. Yellow tag as well, thirty dollars for the two seventy react. All right, irregular the hole in the back. All right, next one. Uh, Dabber fanatic and ID space vision, both with just more jersey, just coming back at it. Seventeen dollars. The Crosby, even some of the blank uh, penguins in here, but the mighty ducks, the twenty five. I know that's all I know. It's like yeah. Man. Is Mighty Ducks really a real team in the NHL? Yeah. So the Anaheim Ducks, and they have their uh, their old logo. This is the 25th anniversary, $17. No, that one right there, I think. I mean, like, not knowing anything about them, I think I would buy it. I would buy all of these, too. Even the Crosby ones, you know why? Because it's still a legend player. So and I would I mean, $17. Stitched and, right? Stitch and everything, right? Yeah, stitched and everything. Right. That's like the high end. That's like the high end. Yeah. Uh, right now, Ross is kind of uh, exploding with the same three jerseys. <laughs> Islanders, <laughs> Vegas, and uh, Red Wings. So just uh, I'm giving you a heads up right now. If you're finding any of those three, you're in it for the long haul. Now, I don't mind. I'll wait on it. They're authentic jerseys. They are $14 at Ross. But I don't see them moving anytime soon uh, because there's, I think there's just a ton out there right now. All right, Ross. At number two, still at three stars. They just have not improved. They're staying the same. And uh, Joe Exotic for president. Where does Ross get this stuff? What's going on there? Uh, the plug. That's probably a return or something. A random return, and Ross is like, I don't remember selling this. Yeah. Nine ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> I see Kobe go Vegas Knights got a bunt on Saturday. Um, have you seen NBA jerseys? I have not seen any NBA. I've just seen more than NHL. Kip Kicks fan of the year. That was supposed to go to a thrift store. <laughs> Mile High says I'd vote for him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the shorts and a couple of jackets. G Man and Furious Flipper, thirty dollars retail, one twenty. Uh, the plug and JT. This camo shorts. They don't mess around. Good money on these. That's crazy. I mean, like. They're not even, like, anything special, like, as far as materials are concerned. No, they're not. And they're actually, like, they're really like big. Light. And they're yeah, really they're light. Yeah, yeah, it's not like the heavy ones that you, you know, that... And, like, I think retail is cheap, right? Like, 70 No. Or is uh, it... Right? Yeah, I think retail was around there. Yeah, 60. no, it's not $100. Right? No, I don't think so. Not that I remember. Uh, let's see, the plug also couple of shorts on here too I like the design right there the nike looks like it got a couple of them back there all right next one. Oh, the gloves coming back and uh kid junior 24 15 dollars not bad at all so nike gloves uh classic city jazz and hawks we got the player pants brian with the adidas jacket and retail on it 150 i don't know what the price is there uh trap al bundy some of the Charlotte Hornets or Charlotte All-Star Game um, Jordan stuff, 
Wow. Now, twelve dollars does have retail on there and sold for a hundred dollars. So, Trap Al Bundy. Uh, I did see. I think it was like a Charlotte All Star game, like a polo. I did see a Jordan Charlotte hoodie. So I think they're just all part of like that All Star game stuff. So might want to look out for that and see uh, see what they're selling for. Here's some of the other hockey jerseys out there. Jay Minaj with the Flyers and the Ovechkin Capitals. Uh, this is a different uh, Red Wings that I've been seeing. This was $25. We also have the Toronto jersey in blue. What was the price on that one? $13. And some of the Flyers as well. Copper drop. <laughs> See, my Ross has been dookie. Same. I'm happy about that one. There you go. Trap out Bundy. Found three NBA jerseys at Ross, Hustling 21. Here's one of the NBA. We have DeRozan, Raptors. And I think they said this one was in the women's. And same thing for Desert Finds. Found like 10 Steph Curry jerseys. Swingman in women's section, $15 each. Are those so, men? No, women's section. So oh. women's, women's jerseys. I'm guessing women's cut and everything. Right. 15 right. bucks, uh, Steph Curry. It probably has maybe the old logo. I don't know. Which All I did was change text, so who knows. Uh, Lace is always out, and the man also had the uh, Mr. Information with the Flyers jersey. All right, let me see. Told the cashier, you guys need more Jordans, no Skechers in Spanish. Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, here we go with the Project Rock, G-Man, Leva, 760 Cleater, and Furious Flipper. Man, it's only that colorway too, huh? Yeah, it's only the same color, and it looks like a lot of the same sizes, size 9, size 12, size 13, and I haven't seen any other colors out there, or any other sizes out there. Uh, some of the Steph Curry samples, though, you could definitely pick those up. Uh, more Project Rock, Brian, Just Fly, High Seas. I even picked up a, a hat while he's at it. And a Scuba with the Indians hat, which they will no longer have. The, well, they already changed the logo, but Ooh. now they're just changing everything. So, Wow, that might be limited now, huh? Uh, maybe down the road. Right now, the prices seem to be uh, not really that, that great. I think there's still a lot of that stuff out there. But I think down the road... Could definitely see it being worth some money, but will it be better than GameStop? <laughs> no, I don't know. GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don Alpha Cleat, a couple of pairs of 97s in the kids section, $45. RJ Funky Finds, some of the Kyries and the Katie's in there as well. Edgar's Finds, Timberland's down on clearance, 17 bucks, I believe. Oregon Flip Finds found some Nautica boots down to 49 cents. So he said he's going to be donating them to a local charity. So congrats that's to you. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good that's, idea. Actually, that's a great idea. Yeah. Like, there we I'm be. doing that because, like, you know how we see, like, 99 cent item and it's just, like, and it's just something that you don't sell? True. Why don't you pick it up? I mean, if it's human size, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. drop it off to goodwill do some good that's that's a great idea yeah so there, so props to organ flip finds how do we right. give this guy thank an award you. yeah thank you for that uh like that uh idea now everybody in youtube saw this so we should all do it so there we go we don't issues homeless shelter this year there we go ak congrats on that too helping other people out rico smooth we got the mcdonald's dame souse forty dollars from Adidas, they do sell well. I did pick up some of these. Uh, 24 kicks with the curries in red and gum bottom. Uh, let's see, hustling with the curry for NBA Jam, and they are priced really high. So, comps at 200 plus. Wow, so many curries coming out, huh? I mean, like, I'm wondering if this is a pretty good ball shoes, Glenn. This, this model, it looks like it is. I think this model is probably way better than this one. Why they're not the same. Uh, Curry four, I had is the same. It is the four. High and low, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're just high and low. Mm. I really don't like. I don't know this part here. I don't know what it was. It reminds I didn't see me these of like uh, hyper dunkish, you know, like yeah. that hyper dunk. And Adidas Minecraft cleats. 
Rico Smooth. That was random. I haven't seen anything like this. I thought it was no, Dragon Ball. I thought it was Dragon Ball or something. <laughs> or Mario, the gold coins. Oh, yeah. Down Clarence. Leva with the Kobe AD Slim Pickens. The same theme. Got the gray. We got the navy blue. $50 and a good size. Nine and a half. Man, the gray Kobe's. Yeah. And then we got the man misinformation with Kobe's as well. The purple. And I also found some of the Kyries. So a couple of pairs there. Miles, what's up? Congrats on the Kobe pickups. Texas Flips, they're still out there. Not only one, but two off-white shirts. Two of them. Texas Flips, congrats on that one. Uh, Merch Tribe with the Jordan 8. So we did see these in the past. Vapor Max still out there somehow, some way. But they are Yo, the late school. Not- that triple black money. Mm, this one right here. Yeah. There we go. Uh, even for grade school. Yeah, yeah. Even for okay. grade school. Yeah, because women's level. Yeah. And then here you go, B. Would you want to create a kid just to buy these shoes? The it, the toe box is not right. <laughs> <laughs> Still critic, you know. I mean, if it was the right toe box, man. <laughs> a few of them were, I bought a few of them already. Oh man, okay. That was it for Ross Burlington and still five stars, gold stars. Number one, still kicking sports. He's been gone for a while. We've been missing him. He said he's back at it and he has a lot of popcorn to pick up and consume. Snickers, Twix, Oreos, M&M's, Butterfinger, all of them are in here. So we'll see uh, still kicking. Hopefully he's doing well. Said so he's back. All right, let's get into the Burlington stuff. We got so much of them. Uh, 24 kicks. We got the 90 style jacket. Desert Finds with the starter jacket. I believe that's like the American, what was that football? The, doesn't exist anymore. I don't know. Uh, Trap All Bundy with the, man, look at this. Twelve dollars and still selling three twenty four. I don't know what's wrong. So what? Explain to me what? What's what's this again? I know it's track, but is it, <laughs> is it Oregon or something? Like what makes them so special? That's a good yeah. question. I don't know myself. I haven't even picked them up. I've never even seen them. I've been I trying to find them. Actual goal, yeah. Let's see what the chat says about them. Why they're so special? Willie Will, what's up? MC Incorporated. Puma Mr. Doodle Jacket. Sweet mm-hmm. find. Electric Relish. Chai Sneaker Deals and Resell Freak. Pretty cool with the uh, Cherry Blossom shorts and $17. I'd rock that. Yeah, you both of them? Yeah, I, oh. I want the, both of them. Oh, okay. Cherry Blossom. I'm going to look it up right now. <laughs> uh, Broadway B. We also have the uh, Tech Fleece Pants. And there's more of the all-star stuff. And this might have been Ross. Maybe not Burlington. But anyway, more all-star stuff going out there. Uh, $10. Yes, all the buyers are from Oregon. Pro elite track stuff. And Chinese drop shippers are buying from Oregon. That's yeah. that's what we've been updated with in the chat. Mm-hmm. Just Fly 19. And the Air Max Plus. Some of the Jordans in here as well. And Cleats. Price Assassins. Handful of Cleats. Brian with the Phantoms, and also we got the Oregon Ducks in here for Hustle Crow, and also some more Phantoms. So, uh, more cleats out there. Next one, Air Max 95 in red. We also got the Gator React Element, size 12 and a half. And the Lakers Baller Bands are out there. Broadway B with a Jordan 3. I don't know the price on them or the size. But definitely a size 16 at least. You're measuring against the yeah, I measured in the rack. Yeah, that one that one's uh uh 17 and a half, but it's actually 18. Okay. B yeah. is saying 18. Yeah. And if uh Broadway B is in the is in the chat, let us know. Uh Gritty Girl Boss and District Deals, what's up? Hey, he said it glitched size 16. I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, the back is 18. So just... Oh, there we go. Broadway B did say it's size 16. <laughs> <laughs> we got sneaker finds 12 jordan one mid hulk 50 dollars and a size nine and a half 
Oh, human, human size. size. <laughs> I like that. And then Hustle to Win with the Black History Month 95s and $60. So there we go. I haven't seen that one out there. Oh, someone said, I did find the Black History Month 95. Not sure if I'm keeping them yet. Intramorph. Puma Hustler out there getting still getting 30% off his buys. Real Deal Thrifter, Hardens, and some of the KDs. I did see that uh, that tennis one as well. Maximum 2300, more KDs. Space Hippie, and some of these sleeves. Laker sleeves. Uh, KS reselling complete with box. Silver boxes. Love them. And got four pairs right there. All right, next one. Man. Cleats on cleats on cleats. Price Assassins. Resell Freak. Phantoms. Lazarode. More cleats out there. Flipping it good. We've got the, uh, let's see, Freak 1 coming to America. I'm trying to see what else is in here. Have you seen that? What, this? Yeah. No. Du Hirachi Duke cleats. Find of the day. Oh, that might be look. Uh, that might be uh, lacrosse if I'm not mistaken. Maybe interesting. So I haven't seen those. Let's see, you got the boost slides. That was from the other one. Uh, let me see. Look at those silver boxes and the other one as well. Let's keep going. And a bunch of KD. So Mile High Hustle District Deal, sixty dollars each. Size four and a half and a size six in boys. And then here, sneaky flips. We got the LeBrons. What size are these LeBrons? Which, what's the orientation? Is this a real cart? Or is this a small cart? Or is this the actual cart? Whoa. I'm confused now. It looks like a... Oh, he took photo of it from the front. That's huge. That's 18. Okay. <laughs> Willie Will says 22. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Furious yeah, Flipper, Dunk Low Disrupt, $50. And the ladies section size 7. So nice. There we go, Furious. <laughs> I said, nah, size 15. Yeah. Let's see, Joe says 18. Yeah. <laughs> Has to be. So Dunk Low Disrupt, $50. Man, they're already LeBron out. time. Uh, sneaker finds and Joshi and Tans finds. So $70. And, of course, we've seen this 2K one. Last couple of weeks, cop or drop. And some of the LeBron lows out there as well. And this one we've seen at the outlets, too. Yeah, the Philippines, man. They clearance it quick. I know. How dare they? Doing the Philippines <laughs> dirty. It's a clean shoe, though. Like, it, like, if we put this, like, five years ago, when red, you know, triple red, red October was the thing, this would have sold out quick. <laughs> I, I think it's a clean shoe. Let's see the next giveaway contest. First person to guess the right size. <laughs> yeah, we should do that. We should do that. <laughs> uh, RJ Funky finds with the 11s out there. Oh, They're back. This time at Burlington. That's kind of big though, but there you go. That, since it's women's, it could it's be convenient. women's. Women size nine, 60 bucks. Oh. Um, let's see. A little posit 96 all star game, $35. That one's that one's. Something new. Different. There we go. Also got the golf out here, thirty dollars. JT resells. Yeah, good money on these. Wow. And that, uh, MC that's Incorporated. Different. That's different though. This though. one with the red swoosh. Yeah, yeah, red. I think it's blue in the other one. No, red and blue. Oh, okay. I get it. Yeah, size six and boys Vipermax, and forty dollars. I know Jay Minaj picked up a couple of these as well. That's MC clean. Incorporated. That's pretty yeah, clean. I love that colorway. Yeah. Let me see. Love it. Yeah, Vapor Max 2020. Wow, Miles. All right, next. Willie Will with the up tempos. $35. We got the Stranger Things out here. $50. Furious Flipper. Uh, look at that. $80 for the LeBrons. Decent size 12 and a half. Whoa, what, what's that dude's name? Swack Hammer. Yeah. Yo, and then. Yeah, super clean on these. Congrats on finding that one. 12 and a half. Furious yeah. Flipper. Yeah, I, don't care girls. I don't care what size. I'd pick up up to size 18 on that one. Size 22? Yeah, probably. Shop might need them. I never know. Maybe. Yeah, baby heat out there, $35. Next, get to the cartfuls. 
Uh, Slim Pickens. We got some of the Kyries out there too. Fifty dollars. We got what are these? Forty bucks. The man misinformation. Man, how long do they have? Seven twenties. Five pairs. Desert finds. Some of the Pegasus cleats. Golf. Good money. And some of the freaks. And then Chai Staker deals. We're also in here. We got the uh, Jordans. We got the Stranger Things. Oh, man. What else do we got in here? A little mix. So how many? One, two, three, four, five. A good seven pairs. People finding more things. Here we go. Man. Price Assassin. So 12 and a half on a LeBron Graffiti. Tribe called Steels. A size four in men's on the Graffiti. Eddie also picked up LeBron's. Sneaker finds 12. Uh, Toon Squad for 60 has that fuzzy swoosh that we were talking about. Uh, part of Bugs Bunny. Yeah, Bugs Bunny. Yeah. And uh, more LeBron Lowe's. So size 15, and I copped. Passed on other LeBron's. All right, next. Willie Will. Jordan 4. And Willie Will again. Man, got these on the uh, nine boots. Uh, Willie Will again. On the uh, Patricks and Lazarud with the Bread Elevens. So I don't know these showed up maybe in kids. Something happened, but awesome. And more. We're not done. Just done. KS reselling. Price Assassins uh, on the 10s. And also with the Carmelos. Carmelo 13s. Just Fly with the Jordan 1s. One of the bigger sizes we've seen out there. So uh, size 17. Let's see. Uh, breads. Those nines. Fire. Nines are fire. Exactly. Uh, crazy finds out there. Let's see. Look like wheels on shoes. Uh, let me see. California gets none of this. I know this is all east. All right. Let me go to the next one. Big money mall. Why do you do this to us? And you know what? The thing is, Big Money Mo, did you sell these already? Let me know. They're a size 11 and a half. <laughs> I wear an 11. I should go half a size up. Oh, yeah. They're bronze. Sell for you. Yeah. Big Money Mo, did you sell these already? And how much are you looking for these? Oh. Who oh, else says not yet? Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Slide in the deal. <laughs> Uh, we also got nice with the London pack on Willie Will, sixty dollars, size twelve, done off a cleat, more of the adapt, same thing for thrifty cent adapts out there. Look at that. Nice. Just got the boxes in there, packed up in the back in the car, done off a cleat. Very nice. Let's see, DM bro. <laughs> All right, next slide. And we're not done. KS reselling, $70, and a size, what, six and a half in men's off-white with box, everything. Zoom for it. Just, yeah, just stop. Willie Will and Sneaky with the Griffey Dunks that Jim Minaj also found. We know there's not many of them out there. Easy Money, District Deals also comes through with adapt hyper adapt and one hundred dollars each. What's going on here? Killing it at their Burlingtons. I know a lot of people in the chat, including myself. I'm not gonna find. I'm not gonna find any of this. I've never seen any of this. I can only really cheer from the sidelines. I mean, I'm happy to see it. I just right. wish that maybe, maybe just one. Sure. One. With box. Down. With box, right? At this point, something. At this point, you'd buy the box separately. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we're done. Giveaway time. Hopefully you're ready. And you know what? Last giveaway, way too easy. No. Oh. Way too easy. $30 giveaway. All right, let me make sure. Do I have it on here? Okay, we do. Okay, in order by most listings to least, you have six of them to do now. Oh, six! <laughs> this is this might take some time. 
Man, Glenn, I don't want my 30 bucks anymore. Uh, it's too much work? All right. All right, Let really me. think about it. Look, focus. You have plenty of time. Don't look at the competition. Focus. I guarantee you this is not hard. Put it in order. And you're... All right, B, go ahead. What would you say? Most two, to least. Two, three, okay. one. Three, one. Okay. C, B, A. C, B, A. Okay, so he's going like this. And then curls around here and into these. Two, three, one. Hmm. All right, let's see in the chat and see if we have any winners. I'm too drunk for this, Willy Will. Yeah, we don't want to stump you right now. This is a lot going on. I'm going to see. No, 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 no. Uh, it's a cat. Let me check. Very close. Keep going down. No. No, no. Hustle Crow. Very close. But no. Tans Fines. No. Very close. Really? Josh Brown. No. Uh, Gucci? No. All right, it has to start with two. Oh! So if it doesn't start with two, you're eliminating yourself. Baker brand, close. No, no. Thread kicks? No. No. Keep going down. See, Glenn's making it too hard now. Yeah, this is, yeah, you see what happens? People start winning all the time. Make it a little bit more difficult, and that's too hard. Yeah, if nobody gets it, nobody gets money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this might be this might have been a little bit too hard. Yeah. Uh, let me go back up and see. Brian, no, very close. AK Rowdy, no. At this Brown point, Town. Had, at this point, you had all the time to check comps. Brown Town has won. Stealthy was very close. Two, Actually, three, only one. one letter away. All Brown right. Town finds you have won. The correct answer was two C three one A B. So uh, three hundred fifty nine uh, on the Project Rock, one forty eight on the KDs, one thirty four on the Flyers jersey. How many people bought KDs? Yeah, <laughs> uh, eighty seven on the eight. 70 Dame Sauce, and only 16 on the Currys. What was the question again? <laughs> so, Brown Town, then uh, there we go. Yeah, don't forget to pay me. I, I owe everybody a lot of things. <laughs> uh, I owe a lot of money, and shoes barely came in that I owe. So, I ordered, who was it that won? Jubilees. They finally came in. They took forever from eBay. I might have been the plug that I owe. I owe somebody Jubilees, and they finally came in, so I can ship those out. Whew, man. All right. That was a that was a good show, and we are done. We got to handle some business right now. I'm going to go get some coffee. We're ready to go for the people that are in the coaching, and we'll be set. Level up. And That's we are fine. done. So here's the thing. Friday... Thursday, tomorrow, I have a new video coming out that something we've never done before. Does does it have to do with nothing to do with Ross Fines, Burlington Fines, none of that. It has something to do with sneakers and a throwback Thursday. Oh. So if you could support this video, and hopefully you'll be into it, it would definitely help me out. So oh, we'll definitely hit that like button. Okay, Yo, so we'll see what happens. Comes out tomorrow. This might be cribs, you know. Glenn showing his crib. <laughs> 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 All right, we are done, and I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow's video and Friday's video. Rest of the week. Go out and.